the caramel. Okay. Thank goodness. But uh, the caramel is probably just as bad. <laughs> but it's no! it's the it's the it's the frappe mocha, the large, six hundred and eighty calories. This is not going well. That's almost half the calories you're supposed to have in a day in that one drink. So we'll just have that one drink and nothing else. We could have two. No one. We could have two, and that would be our calories for the day. All right, that's it. I'm good. <laughs> I will not sacrifice these frappes and mochas. You know what they say? Oh, wait, that's the same thing. You know what they say for a healthier alternative? Try getting unsweetened iced coffee with milk instead. Dude, that's not even the same thing. <laughs> not even close. Unsweetened coffee and milk instead? You know, instead of, instead of this heavenly, delightful frappe mocha, just give me unsweetened iced coffee with milk. Yeah, you can get something that's going to make you puke up yeah. your gut. Then it's going to be zero calories. It Yay. may even be negative calories because you'll puke up the, uh, the Egg McMuffin. Yummy! That you had with it. Yummy! Me in my tummy. They should try that. They should try advertising that. Drink our unsweetened iced coffee, and then you'll puke up the egg muffin. So this is actually, this particular drink is actually <laughs> negative five thousand calories. This is disgusting. This is like, ugh, that should not even be posted. We should not know how many calories are in that, just so that we can, you know, go on eh, with our happy. There's lives. some law or something now. <sighs> Whatever. Stupid <sighs> laws. How about the double quarter pounders with cheese? I don't know. I'm pr- I'm probably sure that I've had those before, but... You know, oh, yeah, we've had them. I'm sure we have. Yeah. 750 calories. That's a little disturbing. You add the large fries in the drink, which we normally do, the calorie count doubles. So, what's a healthy alternative? Nothing. Nothing. See, <laughs> it's like you, you eat this, and you're done with your calories for the whole day, if you eat that with fries and a drink. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We, we usually get it large size. That means we get the large drink and, and the large fries, mm-hmm. plus the ketchup and all that. So yes. so that that's easily, probably easily 2,000 calories. So then we just don't eat. Or at least at least 1,500 calories. Maybe not even for two days. Well, then we could um, we could go back again and eat like a quarter of it. Like we could cut the sandwich in half twice and eat one piece, and then eat like 10 of the fries and drink a fourth of the soda. Wow. And then we'd be done for the day. You know, we wouldn't do that. That way we'd finish the meal. <laughs> and they're killing our kids now. Oh. The cheeseburger happy meal. I wonder if that includes eating the toy. You don't eat the toy, dude. Oh. That's not what you do. You play with it. Oh. Now, if you, if you convince your kids to get water, then you save 140 calories. Oh, my goodness. No kid. Okay, when, when I was a kid... This is what Happy Meals were. It was a pop and a a hamburger or chicken and french fries. And now they have, you can get water. Well, you could get water anyway, but that's like encouraged now. And they have freaking apple slices and milk now. (laughs) I know. What's this world coming to? I don't know. I'm going to make you the happiest kid in the world. Would you like water with your Happy Meal? Would you like? (laughs) Yay! (laughs) Yay! They They should call it the unhappy meal. You know, McDonald's has got the best milkshakes. I see that, and I'm, like, going to cry again. The McCafe shake <sighs> in the 22-ounce cup. I want one now. <laughs> it's got about 840 calories. Yeah. Yikes. The classic strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate shakes have more calories than a meal. Mm, that's kind of... And <laughs> by drinking one of those, you get half of your fat for the day. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah. Are you freaking for real? I'm freaking for real. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm thinking the healthy alternative might be to take the cherry off the top. Or it might just be to not have one. <laughs> not even deal with I'd it. be like, just uh, keep the cherry and hold half the whipped cream. Yeah. But you got to have the cherry. I mean, <laughs> And that would tradition. knock maybe, maybe three calories off. Man, how good are the McFlurries? Oh my goodness. They are, they are so amazing. I, I love them. I figured that would be better than the milkshake. They're good. But there's less of it. Mm-hmm. There's like eight ounces less. There's probably a good reason for that. <laughs> eight ounces less, and there's there's 930 calories. Uh, Almost 100 more calories in the McFlurry. No, if it was as big as that... Um, With M&M's. If it was as big as that milk- milkshake, that that's, would be doom. And their option on this, next time you go to McDonald's, try sharing with a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Just try sharing with a friend. Right, right. All right. That's not going to happen. What's and this? the worst thing you can get, I mean, if you're really just trying to kill yourself overnight, this is what I would recommend. 
The Big Breakfast with Hotcakes. Ooh, hotcakes. It is a big breakfast. It looks like a big breakfast. 1,150 calories. Gee whiz. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a hash brown, though. I like those hash browns. <laughs> I would just eat that hash brown. Because... If that's all you would eat? Uh, I would eat I would eat that hash brown, and I would eat that... Uh, what's that? What's that sandwich? Dude, I'd eat it all, and I'd be like, hey, you got any more? Couldn't eat all that. There's no way. Yeah, you could. could. There's no way I could eat all that. It's probably not that much. Look how huge that pancake is. It's just really unhealthy. Look how huge that pancake is. It just looks big in the picture. It's humongous. Oh, come on. I could not eat that. Now, we've been to the Waffle House before, and you've eaten a couple of pancakes or waffles. But that's the Waffle House. When you go to the Waffle House, you're extremely hungry. And you are. But what if you're extremely hungry when you eat this? Go to the Waffle House, dude. Like, if you're that hungry, go to the Waffle House. Anyway, it's going to cost you half the day's recommended calories. Oh, my goodness. You get, you get your eggs. You get a biscuit. A biscuit. Right. A hash brown. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming more than one hot cake because it doesn't have a hot cake. It says hot cakes. cakes. Right. And then you get your sausage. Biscuits. Oh, and that's not even counting the, uh, the syrup. So if you eat your big breakfast with hot cakes without syrup, it's 1,150 calories. Wait, I have a question. Why if you it... add the syrup, it's two million more calories. I don't know, oh, really. I'm just kidding. Two million. It's probably not two You'd million. You'd be dead. <laughs> you probably would. I've got a question though. It says it includes a biscuit, but then it says it inc- also includes biscuits. There's a typo or something there. Whoa. A biscuit and then a biscuit, biscuit, biscuit a hash brown, hotcakes, biscuits, and sauce. <laughs> it does have a typo. <laughs> Glad you noticed that, Miss Top. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mister Top. Yeah, no problem. I, I noticed things like that. <laughs> oh, here, I did save that article. Oh, okay, cool. I thought this was interesting because there was a survey taken in 1938. And it sort of put this in, in, in a time frame for everybody. 1939, Wizard of Oz came out. Uh, Gone with the Wind came out. Mm-hmm. So this was around that time period. There was an advertisement that was placed in the local paper. And it asked readers, what's happiness? Or what is happiness? And, and this is what, and, and this wasn't a a real legit survey. They they two hundred twenty six people actually responded. Uh, they believed in this order: security, knowledge, and religion were the most important aspects of happiness. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm sure today security is there, and the other two are out the window. You you are very smart. You were. Have, did you read this? <laughs> no, <laughs> I just I know my generation. I would have thought knowledge would have still been in there, but it's not. That doesn't Religion, I know, because we're all going to hell. I mean, you know, it's just the way that things are going. I don't think we're all going to hell. That could I mean, be in general. A big, that could in be general. a big debate. In general. Uh, so, I mean, everybody needs security, I think, to be happy. If you don't feel secure in your job and in your home, then, then you're not going to be happy, obviously. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, and I've always, I figured after Spider-Man came out, the knowledge, I mean, you know, with great power comes great, I mean, with knowledge, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, but I mean, it's... I mean, don't you want to know a lot about at least something? Yeah, I mean, I do, but this gener, my generation is, is very different. It's like, we want to see things happen, and we we want to be something, but it seems like we can't get there because we don't really have the knowledge and we're too lazy to learn things for some reason. So so people would like to have knowledge, but they just want to like take a pill and get it. Yeah, exactly. We yeah. want to get it the easy way. That would be cooler. That would be way cooler. Right. So so they they republished the survey. You know, the only thing that hasn't changed and you were absolutely right is the security. Yep. Uh and then Number two and three, number two is good humor. I'm not surprised. And then coming in over God is leisure. All right. Like That's... free time. <laughs> I'm not surprised about that either because my generation is, is, I mean, look at things like YouTube and Vine and you'll see that you'll see the younger generation posting comedy things and things that make people laugh because that's going to make people happy even for just a little while and leisure free time that's the free time we use to make people happy free time is everything to us it's like if we get taken our way our free time we are going to be so grumpy we're going to start yelling at people it's not going to be a pretty sight well look at it from another side too i mean on a scale of one to ten how much would you say i work um mm. I can't do math. Um, I don't have this knowledge. Well, I mean, do I work a lot or a little bit? <laughs> I mean, you work a lot, yeah. Yeah, so so 
for me, my free time is is worth as much, if not more, than a paycheck. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I really do value my free time. You know how I am on my days off. I'm like, okay, today we're not doing anything. Yeah. And and we have to actually plan those days because, and what I'll do a lot of times when I work, I'll come home and then it'll be like 10, 11 at night, maybe midnight. And we'll go to Walmart at night just because we don't want to have to do it the next day on my day off. We just want to relax mm-hmm. or do a radio show or do whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I see. And, and, and we just talked about how, how Americans are working, uh, most Americans are working more than 40 hours a week, and, and that's getting more and more. So, I mean, I can see how leisure would be on the forefront of people's minds. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, somehow, like, you working a lot, you're able to keep your cool when you come home, and you're, you're happy, and you're, you're good to go. But, mm-hmm. like, uh, the younger generation, if we are taking away our free time, we just kind of get grumpy and every- I don't know if it's a generation thing. I think I, I think me keeping my my calm and cool, I think that's just a me thing. I'm I'm Maybe pretty it laid is back. Just a you thing, I'm pretty laid back. It seems like my generation is like we have to have our free time and I'm the same way. I mean, if I get no free time, I'm going to be pretty be crabby. Pretty pretty crabby. Yeah, you get yeah. crabby sometimes. I get yeah. crabby a lot of times, especially Dude, in the morning. I hate mornings. I was crabby yesterday because I had something going on in my eyeball. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was bad. I woke up and automatically I was like, oh my God, there's something. In, I, th- I think there's like a, a car jack in my eye. It hurt. So I get up and I go to the bathroom and have you ever tried to look in your eye while there's something in it? It's impossible. I mean, you, you like turn your eyeball to see where you need to see and then you, you are looking at the ceiling all of a sudden. I can't do that. That makes my chest yeah. hurt. <laughs> you just can't do it. But I knew there was something in my eye, and I, I tried the eye drops. I tried pulling my lid over my bottom lid and holding it. I tried blinking a lot. I tried all this crap. I even got in the shower, and I held my eye open with vice grips, <laughs> and I just I just turned the shower on directly onto my eye. You know how uncomfortable that is? This combo be like making my chest hurt right now. Yeah. Ah, very uncomfortable. And then I, I actually talked you into something, too. Yes, you did. And I did this because I loved you. Uh, this is what happened. He wakes me up, <laughs> wakes me up, and he knows that I hate to be woken up. Mm-hmm. And I wake up, and he's like, "So here's the plan. I got something in my eye, and you are gonna get it out." And I'm, I, I just like automatically kind of get like a little, like I didn't want to go to the doctor. It cost me forty dollars every time I go to the doctor. I I know this, but like the first time I heard that, I got a combination between angry and scared <laughs> so it's like i don't want to touch an eyeball i hate bodies it's just mm-hmm. like a weird thing for me i don't like eyes and i don't like touching things yeah. like that so i'm like i get up and go to the bathroom so i can like compose myself and i'm like the, I, I think i said something like great my worst nightmare and i'm not even half awake yet <laughs> it's pretty yeah whenever crappy. we get intimate we have to wear hazmat suits it's weird <laughs> it is weird it gets really yeah. weird yeah. but i i go to the bathroom i compose myself i get a toilet paper thing and I wrap it around and I, I'm trying to like look around and I don't see anything and I poke your eyeball and You had I, your flashlight in my eye too. I did. I couldn't see otherwise and I couldn't really see yeah. anyway but I was like afterwards I was like I touched an eyeball and I'm scarred for life now. That's going to be a horror story. That's going to be the inspiration for my next horror story. But you tried. I tried and it was so gross. And, and that's all that matters <laughs> is that you tried. Yeah and I mean I wouldn't do that for anybody else. I swear that to you right now. <laughs> But it was unsuccessful. It was unsuccessful, yeah. but it proved my love and for you, right? I, I don't ever, <laughs> I, I, I never physically got anything out of my eye, and then all day it just hurt. And then I went to bed last night, and it was just, I was, it was tearing up, and it was just, I had these little eye, like sleepy eye things in my eye that I was picking out, and it was just gross. And when I woke up this morning, everything's fine. That's good. Like it never happened. That's really good. I'm, I'm glad yeah. to see you not suffering, because that's, that's I'm glad to. Bad. It sucked. It's, it put me in a bad mood. When I got back last night, I was in a, just a horrible mood. Like, I can just really bad. Why. Yeah. yeah. It sucks. I mean, it's like that happens and then like it just ruins your day. And I, and I try, I try to be optimistic and happy all the time, but but you can only and, go so far. And it was probably something as simple as an eyelash. Just a, a little eyelash in your eyeball can just ruin your day. But I'll tell you what, yesterday I totally forgot about my back problems. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> because my eye was hurting so bad. So you get worse pain. Yay. <laughs> Yippee. I'm glad though I didn't go to the doctor. That is good. You... Yeah, I say forty bucks. There you go. Because we got to get T-shirts. We do need to get T-shirts <laughs> for the CMA Fest. Mm-hmm. It'll be here before we know it. Uh, okay, so so we're about to wrap things up here pretty quick. 
but I'm glad I found that. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, 